Hey there YouTube, this is the Redstone Warrior here, wanting to show you this quick uh, proof of concept I made. I saw a bunch of screens on YouTube, and I wanted to see how nice and efficient I could get a screen system for large numbers. Here's the product. This isn't really what I care about. This screen is pretty simple, just a bunch of crazy wiring. What I really want to show you is the background, how it decodes and figures out. Uh, what lights to put where. The input is binary, and the array literally looks, it literally is a rectangular block. If you have more than one LCD, then you can have more than one row. And I figured this might be a nice little output for me to put on my computer when I uh, finally get around to working on it. Uh, this was uh, me really playing around, nice proof of concept. And here's how it works. The binary numbers go in, and they are in their inverted form. So then on the next layer, there are individual uh, strips which go flying about in straight lines, and each one represents a number. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, this top part can be replaced with a decoder. This is a decoder, really, but I just thought it would be a neat way to do this if you were to stack it. So how this, actually the, one of the best parts about this is it each one of these lines is modular so if you have thir uh, 16 bits you could go all the way by copying and pasting. Uh, this is all done by hand of course. Uh, this currently goes from 0 to 5 and here's how it works. You have the inverted uh, bits coming in. I'll just start with number one, and it sends down a signal as to whether or not each one has the ability to be it. If it's if it sends down to zero, then it has the ability to be it. If it's one, it's not. So that can be determined by uh, these torches, which hang over and push uh, cur current down there. If it has to be equal zero, just a plain torch like this works. If it has to equal one. You can raise it up, put a torch there, put another torch there, and then it will only happen when it equals 1. So for 1, the pattern is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, For 2, the pattern is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, act. For, f for the 4 category, it's Zero 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 one 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 one. I didn't hook it all the way up. Act. And for the eight, it's as you guessed it. Eight eight zeros, eight ones, eight zeros, eight ones, eight zeros, eight ones. Eight zeros, eight ones. It's pretty easy. Each one of these ends up standing for a number, and it's a decoder system. The bottom half of this has the numbers, and each number has a set of torches. So if the number equals zero, that means all of these binary digits said this will work, this number can be according to me. So if it works, let's say it's, let's say since all these are uh, zero, zero works with one, zero works with one, so it sends it down to here. This, it works with one, and all the way down. So then you have the value. If it's zero, that is the number that's selected. If it's one, it's not. And then on the next layer down, you have seven lines, or however many lines you want, and each one represents a piece on the LCD display, or just display. So then you put a torch over each one that you uh, want to select. And then you do this for long enough, re use repeaters to get it all the way down, obviously. And then you end up with this, a bunch of outputs. So this is the very bottom one, this is the bottom left one, bottom right, middle, Top left, top right, top. I made this in about half an hour, it's pretty neat. Proof of concept, really. And it goes to five. One, zero, one. Two. Wait. Sorry. There's two. Three. It's pretty quick. Mouse is spazzing out. Four. And five. There you go. 
it's pretty. Uh, you can arrange which lights go where. It equals zero. By uh, this is just all the stuff that hooks up the screen. You can arrange which ones go there by these uh, lights down here. And the decoder is pretty actually it's actually pretty set in stone what you can do. It's pretty easy. You can use the decoder which selects which one it is and it put it it puts it up here. You can make this double the length, whatever, you can make it in any way. You don't even have to use an L C D display like that. Or display like that. Uh, if you double this you can have two digits and then uh, I believe the closest one to a hundred is a 128, so you go quite a few bits down. It's pretty easy, it's modular, and it's something I wanted to show you too. Well, this is the Redstone Warrior saying thanks for watching YouTube, and there is definitely more to come.